I was about six years old, seven years old, when the rec center opened. Uh, and the rec center in the library was, that's where we all hung out in the summertime. And a big part of my uh, summers were spent at South Euless Pool, uh, diving off the high dive and things like that. Me and my friends used to jump the fence and swim those pools and at night after they were closed. And I used to tell Gary McCamey all the time, it's, it's really ironic to me now that I'm trying to figure out ways to keep people from doing what I used to do all the time in this city, so. When I moved here in April of 1963, we had West Park, and we had Midway Park. And when it came time for public input, I asked the city council why we introduce our young people and our families to the sports programs in the city on that t-ball field where we have to bandage knees and elbows and wipe sand out of their face. And They were all, most of them were all dirt infields. Uh, and at that time, <clears throat> for the most part, our, our parents maintained the fields. We, we sound like baseball. The next day at one o'clock I went by the t-ball field and it was four sprinklers were popping out there and we, were, we had grass. Our park shop was in Midway Park which was a tin shed. All it was was a pole barn. Our offices was an old abandoned restroom which we cleaned up and converted. When I took over the senior center in 93 it was Tuesdays and Thursdays only. And it was um, Simmons, and if you have anybody's been in the Simmons, it was basically one large room. I actually started on the mowing crew, and I always thought, man, how long do I have to be here before I finally get elevated to the riding mower status? Because those guys had been here forever. 